It's so much fun to see Tess live streaming. She's grown up so much. My little protege is now over here kicking butt, doing live streams. I don't even have to be on the live streams anymore because she's such a pro. And so I'm a little bit proud. And uh, now I am going to be on the live stream uh, with these guys. All right, I'm gonna jump on the live stream. All right, so Dennis hit the like button on YouTube. Yes, I did. I want to see if uh, Paul can actually do the jump or not. Oh my gosh, we're at 76 likes right now. Do not like that video. And when I hit the like button, you were at uh, 43. See, that's the part that blows my mind. It is that he's on the studio with a stunning view. He's moving. Oh, all right, step over here. Oh, I'm in the way. Oh, I'm in the shot. <laughs> And then that's the output there. Yep. <laughs> wow. Same thing with this one. Wow. <gasps> wow. Wow. Now do you see why I'm so excited? Oh my gosh, look at this camera too, this ring. Oh, this is He's, why I am. Look at this guy's controller. Wow. That's how you control the, look at that. Funny story, just looking at the Adobe booth over here. What's that? They're they're showing After Effects. Yes. And I used to edit all of my films with After Effects, and then I Dang. taught you that and that you was made really me do it. And that was, I learned After Effects before I learned Premiere. That was me teaching Tess to use the wrong tool for video editing. After Effects is great, and I'm glad we learned how to use it and everything, but Premiere is much more time efficient it's designed for I still like enjoy going back in after effects so oh my gosh Tess look how busy it is I know. this is just as busy as I remember, this is just as busy as I ever remember it being so I mean day one it's busy so the Sodi booth is always like really dark and mysterious yeah. I kind of like that. Oh, they do the same thing where their cameras are out. Oh, they're meant to be having like a party or something. Yeah, right. Uh, tell me about what's in this booth right here. Oh my gosh, what's in this booth right here in the Phoenix booth? You guys are going to be, I mean, circa 2015, the only surviving Phoenix oh, softball. What? It's very high performance. Oh my gosh. I was supposed to get one of these at IBC, but somebody named Tim Vandenberg did not give me one. These were the banana phones that didn't work well. But it's not oh. the same. And here you have, see, I like to be my mouse What is this? The original. This is the, original. This is the OG. The original mouse The OG. That is too amazing. That is awesome. Awesome. Then check out the mouse. Oh my gosh, there's, oh, so we can actually take these yes, ones. Sir. Oh, oh, did they run out they of the mouse pad of the mouse pads? Pad? Pad pad. so, this is a camera. Here, Tess, go ahead and operate it. You can. You're allowed. Hell uh, no. Yeah, not, not so many people want to touch everything anymore. 
I'm gonna move it a little bit. Yeah, you're allowed to. Wow. I wouldn't know the first thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. But all right, I read the comments. You guys really want to see cameras at NAB. Let's take a look at the Simple Track light. This is an auto tracking camera. We can see it following me here. It's an auto tracking camera from Huddle Cam HD. And it is the sec almost the third generation of auto tracking cameras that the engineers at Huddle Cam HD have been working on. This camera, if you look at the back here, has SDI, HDMI, NDI, Ethernet, and USB. So it's pretty much got every connector that most people need. And it's for lecture capture, for following a presenter or a teacher. It's totally automated. Um, another new product that we have is called a tally light. And let me know in the comments below if you guys have used tally lights before. Basically what they do is they tell you which camera to look at. You can see the lights changing there. Those are tally lights. A lot of people have multi-camera video production systems where, you know, they need to know which camera to look at to feel confident. Um, another really cool camera is the Huddle Cam HD Pro. This is a 4K webcam that supports electronic pan tilt zoom. That camera is also available with NDI. So it's power over the ethernet with NDI, really cool. And then what a lot of people have been stopping by at the PTZ Optics booth to see is the Super Joy. And this is a PTZ camera controller that supports up to six cameras, it's all the fine tuning and effects that you would want as a PTZ camera operator. But it also has these custom buttons and these custom buttons are actually being used right now to switch vMix. We have a vMix system and you may know vMix has like a HTTP uh, API for switching. So just a couple more cameras to add to the list. You guys saw the Blackmagic ones and uh, I'm gonna go to a couple more booths soon. So we'll see what else we can find. All right, we made it to Blackmagic. So we're gonna look at some of the cameras. I know everyone was asking about that. These are the little mini pocket cinema cameras that everybody loves, but I think there's some new cameras. I think this one right here is a new one. Wow, look at how good the background looks. So it looks like there's actual like lights on her. Wow, and in reality, it's just that. That is really cool. Wow. All right, more cameras, black magic cameras. I know that's what everybody wants to see, so let's see. Oh, here's one over here. The ATEM 4ME Constellation HD. Let's take a look at the band setup over here. All right, well, NAB day one is in the bag. We reached 100 likes on our video, which means I need to jump off the stratosphere. So if some of you could please unlike that video and get me out of jumping off the stratosphere, I'd really appreciate it because we're going tomorrow and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you for another day tomorrow. Can I hold it? Today we're just using an iPhone and 
all has a media kit that we're gonna connect to, has a little light, has an external mic. Should be pretty easy, should be good to go. We're also going to have a wireless hotspot using cellular bonding with Mike's phone and the Speedify app, which we tested. And we're gonna be streaming in 720 because you know, we're gonna be cautious about we're bandwidth. That's why I gotta switch my, uh, my camera from 4K to 720. We down res Mike's 4K yeah. camera to 720. And, you know, it should, should go out pretty well. The biggest Fingers thing crossed. is audio. It is live. So let us know about the stream quality because we do want feedback and we do want to know. Yeah. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go do a test right now. So Tess, when is your live stream today? 11 a.m. Pacific time. We got live view. Black Magic and Neck Gear on. All right, assessment number one of the NAB show. It's pretty packed. There's a lot of people here. I see what I used to love about trade shows people getting together. It's almost like a little beehive. The Starbucks coffee line is around the block like it should be. And um, this really feels great. I can't wait to start meeting all of our customers and partners. We're going right in because we have exhibitor passes. So it's time to get this show on the road. 